Hi guys and welcome to my channel. It is Karen here with you today. Today I'm going to share with you a page that I have created in my new journal. So I have a picture here that I have drawn and um, it was A4 size. It was a class that I did with Tracy Scott and I've scanned it and then printed it um, onto some rice paper. So I'm going to use that image today. But before I stick it into my book, I'm going to add a few more details into my background that I've already started. So I've got a stencil here from Stamperia and I'm just adding that into the background. And I was going to go with the next one, but then I thought, no, I'm going to stick my picture in. And I've used far too much gel medium. <laughs> Oops. So I'll have to wipe some of that off. But um, I've got a stuck in. So my rice paper I actually ordered from Japan and it finally came. It took three months to come. Anyway, so it arrived and I've printed on it and I wanted to test it out. So I did. Um, I was a little bit disappointed though, unfortunately. So it's like, damn it. Um, I've still got the, um, the halo happening around the outside. I was kind of hoping that this right, um, rice paper would disappear a little bit more because it's a much lighter GSM. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen, which, you know, was kind of hopeful really because all rice papers are kind of the same. The other thing I noticed is that it peeled a little bit as I was adding my mixed media over the top. So the paint that I've got there is from Paparazzi. So I wanted to add some colour onto my image, so that's why I'm adding in some skin. But later on I get out my pastels from um, Jane Davenport and it really fluffs up the rice paper. So that was kind of disappointing. Anyway, live and learn. So I'm just um, altering the eyes on my girl there. I've gone over the black with a Posca pen. And here I am coming in with my Jane Davenport pastels. But I'm going to stop this in a minute because, yeah, I'm, I'm working it and it's like, mm, it's getting quite fluffy. You can't see it on camera, but, um, yeah, that was sad. So I've just dried off the eyes, getting my clear gesso, gesso and putting that over the top and of course I've used too much because I'm in a much smaller journal I must remember that so I'll spread it out over both pages so once that's dry I'm not going to have a problem so now that that is dry I'm just going to go around her eyes to define those um lines a bit better and of course I couldn't get my pen to work so then I had to find another one anyway we got there in the end. So I've just drawn in some pupils so she looks a, a little bit more normal now. <laughs> Colouring some lips um, with some other poskas and going around her nose, putting in the whites of her eyes, making them pop out a little bit more. That's looking a bit better. So now I've got my intense pencils just so I can add a little bit more detail into her eyes. You can't quite see there. Um, it's a little bit far away and my hand is in the way as well sorry about that that's just how I hold the pen I'm really sorry that you can't exactly see what I'm doing so now that I've got my gesso clear uh dry but clear gesso dry say it right I can add in my pastels over the top and of course it's going to work so much better because the gesso um has a little bit more tooth in it so the pastels obviously stick a whole lot better so I'm just going through, adding some colours into those flowers, putting some green into the leaves, making them look a, bit, a little bit pretty. The green matches her eyes. And, um, yeah, I'm really quite happy with it. I really liked, um, yeah, adding the colour in because um, the pen drawing, you know, it's just pen, um, a pen drawing that I did with Tracy Scott. You should check it out. It's so cool. Um, yeah, so I'll pretty much finish that bit there now. So the reason behind my page is because I watched a Instagram video with Megan Windsor Quinlan and um, just a simple page that she did with um, a fancy background with some black lines and writing over it. And it's like, that's so cool. But on Megan, she actually add, added in a um, magazine 
cut out, but I've, I've used my drawing, so same kind of thing, just different. So I've just painted in my black lines with some black gesso, and um, now I'm just adding some doodling in with my Posca pens. So I'm making a vine, and my vine is really quite easy, <laughs> as you can see. Well, my hand's kind of in the way, but um, my little leaves are basically sideways eights coloured in. Too easy. So um, I'll just get them dry because Posca can take a little bit to dry, especially here in Tassie. And before I added in, before I add in my uniball um, words and details. So the words are somewhere something incredible is waiting to be known. And the quote is by Carl Sagan. And um, yeah, I thought that was really cool. So that's why I decided to use it. So now I'm just adding in some white details around my leaves, just some squiggly circles. And I'm going around them twice because we all know that twice just makes it look better and it looks messy intentionally rather than trying to make something neat and not making it look neat. <laughs> so now I'm just adding in a few little marks, a few little white spots, and I am done. So thank you so much for watching my um page here which was inspired by megan um i hope that you'll check out her page on instagram she has loads of yummy things to look at and here's some of the close-ups so till next time thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe see you later bye